Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, you're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And on today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this instant coconut oil. So without further ado, let's get to the video. First of all, you need some coconut. You can get this from your local store. And then you, you need something to break your coconut. So I'm actually using a hammer. When you're done, now you have to move the shell. And after moving the shell, you also have to move the coconut skin. This is just because I really don't want to have um, like a black color in my, in my milk. So I want the milk to be white, but if you want, you can still put that and just cut it into pieces so i'm cutting into pieces in order to simplify the process of blending since i'm using a blending machine i don't have the machine to take out the white part back home we actually use the machine called mbuzi so here where i am living i don't have that so the only way to do this is by cutting into pieces and putting it into the blender easy cheesy As you can see, here are the pieces of coconut ready to be kept into the blender. When you're done doing that, you will add some water. This is just to simplify the process of blending and it makes it more easier since the coconut is, is really hard. So after blending once, you have to like mix everything inside the blender well, making sure that if there is any piece of coconut left, it will be well blended. Then I will blend again once more. And now it's time to filter your coconut milk. So for those who just want to use the coconut milk, this is the easiest way to make your coconut milk at home. But if you want to make oil from that, you have to continue with the process. So I'll actually be filtering this two times. So I'll have like stage one and stage two. I'll repeat the same process, just mixing everything all together. And the water that I'm using in this second process, it's like hot water. And then I will repeat the same process. Yeah. 
and tada! So now here is our coconut milk and what I'm gonna do is just to put in a small bowl where I will be able to put it in the fridge. So what this does is that it will separate the cream with the water. So I actually kept it for almost uh, four hours in the fridge. So what you will get after putting it into the fridge are like chunks of uh, big chunks of coconut cream. So after that you have to put it into the um, into the pan so you can heat it and start to make your coconut oil. So for you to get the oil, you will actually need almost 20 minutes. So make sure that you take your time. Let it eat. By the way, I have another video showing you how to make coconut oil without using heat. I'll put the link up here. If you're really interested, please go and watch that video. You actually don't need heat to make coconut oil. So you will start seeing bubbles. And this means it's a good sign for you that your oil is almost there. And then after some time, your cream will start becoming like like solid like solid particles which means your oil is here almost almost so keep on stirring it and your kitchen will be smelling so good actually so it's a good thing And then after that, you start to see this type of color. That means your oil is ready. Make sure you cool your oil first before putting it anywhere. And now we will filter our oil.
and this is how our oil is looking like I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up also leave me a comment down below if you're gonna try to make your own coconut oil another thing uh, share this video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and we'll see each other on the next one bye